Welcome back to our last day of spring story time. We are going to start with our five ice cream cones. All right, we have one, two, three, four, and five. All right. So everyone, show me your five, five little ice cream cones standing in a row. Each one has a scoop. And what's this? An ice cream cone. Out came the sun and it shone all day. And what happened to one of our ice cream cones? One little ice cream cone melted away. How many are left? We have four. One, two, three, four. Four little ice cream cones standing in a row, each with a scoop and an ice cream cone. Out came the, the sun. And what did it do? It shone all day. And then what happened? One little ice cream cone melted away. And we have three. Three little ice cream cones standing in a row, each with a scoop and an ice cream cone. Out came the sun and it shone all day and one little ice cream cone melted away. Two little ice cream cones standing in a row. Each one has a scoop and an ice cream cone. Out came the sun and it shone all day and one little ice cream cone melted away. And our last little ice cream cone standing all alone. It has a scoop and an ice cream cone. Out came the sun and it shone all day. And our last little ice cream cone melted away. Good job. All right, we are gonna start with our first book. Another one of my favorites, Fran's Flower. We're going to learn all about what we need to grow a flower. So if you already know, you can help me out. One day, Fran found a flower pot filled with soil. Poking out of the top was a tiny green tip. See right there? I will grow this flower, Fran said to Fred. And there's Fred. Fred is her. It's her dog. Yeah. Do you think Fran's gonna be able to grow the flower? Let's see. She took it home. Grow flower, she said, but the tip stayed tiny. I think the flower's hungry, said Fran. Flowers need to eat, right? So Fran went into the fridge and inside she found some of her favorite foods. Now, do flowers eat the same thing that people eat? No. She gave the flower a slice of pizza. Who likes pizza? I love pizza. But I don't think it's good for a flower. And the next day, Fran gave it a piece of cheeseburger. Who likes cheeseburgers? You think they're good for flowers, though? I don't think so. Then she gave it spaghetti, two chocolate chip cookies, and a large spoonful of strawberry ice cream. Do you guys think you could eat all of that food? No, that's a lot of food. She even gave it one of Fred's juicy bones. Do you think that worked? Do you think the flower wants the dog's bone? Well, I don't think so either. She's silly. But the flower didn't grow. The tip stayed tiny and Fran got fed up. Silly flower, Fran said, and she threw it out the back door. She had enough. The flower pot fell onto the ground and rolled away. And then rain fell on it. 
Do flowers need water to grow? Yeah? The wind blew on it. Got some nice fresh air. And the sun shone on it. Do flowers need sunlight to grow? Yeah. Do you think it might grow now? Let's see. Finally, the tiny green tip grew and grew and grew until one day, Fran and Fred went outside to play. When they opened the door, a surprise was waiting. Do you think it's her flower? A big, beautiful flower just for Fran. All right, let's give a clap for Fran and her flower. All right, we are going to sing the wheels on the bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut. Open and shut, the doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Good job. Okay, and our last spring book, it's called Spring Things. So it's all the different things we can see in spring. Melting, what's melting? Snowman is melting and dripping. The snow melting is dripping. Cold's grip is slipping. It's starting to get warmer out, right? Like it is now. It's a little bit warmer. We have sunning and warming and thunderstorming. Budding and sprouting, all of our flowers start to come out. And tree leaf outing. Look, she's having fun on the swing. Throwing and catching. What sport are they playing? Are they playing baseball? Yeah. Babies are hatching. The little baby birds are coming out of their egg. We have hopping and skipping. You can go outside to play again. And kite string gripping. They're flying nice kites when it's windy. You can go out and fly some kites. Biking and blading and lemonading. Hoeing and sewing. They're planting garden. Like some of the books we read this week. And mowers are mowing. Look, hers has bubbles coming out of it. Buzzing and humming. Summer is coming. Who likes summer? Spring. Look at all the beautiful spring things. 
All right, let's give a clap for all of our spring things. All right, thank you for joining me for story time this week. And next week, we are going to have a week full of dinosaur books. So I hope you can join us. Bye.